Hey, y'all, it's Candice, and I'm here with the talented TJ Pompeo. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, I just have to say this, and I've been holding this in for a while, but last night, you did your thing on the stage. Uh, I started writing my own music when I was 16 uh, in high school, junior year of high school, and uh, that was with hip-hop and whatnot. I started producing beats and stuff like that. How would you describe your sound? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I've been so worried about tomorrow. I forgot to think about today. You want to cater to so many different types exactly. of music because, in a sense, that caters to so many different types of people. Exactly. Now, um, you you connect with people like um, like um, very well, amazingly. Um, where do you draw that inspiration from to actually write each song? I more or less just want to make products that and music that people can relate to instantly upon hearing it. You know, whether or not it's you know pornography addiction or someone who was sexually molested, which happened to me when I was a little kid, so I want to be able to <clears throat> help people relate to those kind of things. Um, yeah, you know, so that, And it's, it's healing, too. It's yeah, healing. I mean, totally. e even though the Lord has delivered us from so many different things, to, act, to be able to get on that stage and to speak about it and to, to recite those words is just amazing. Um, how, like, when did you get to that point where you could actually talk about it? Uh, probably not until... I got saved, honestly, probably when I was 19, um, which was about four and a half years ago. The uh, big story behind that basically was just the person who had sexually molested me. Um, I hadn't seen him. It happened when I was eight years old. I hadn't seen that person since then. And then the Bible study that I went to the night that I got saved, I saw him there for the first time in 10 years. He was there. Um, and it just it rocked me. It really rocked me because the only thing I felt in my heart when I saw him was compassion and forgiveness, which I didn't understand that either. I was like, where is this coming from? Like, why do I feel this way? And so really God just opened up a lot of, just a lot of revelation to me that night about, you know, to the, to the depths that you've forgiven this guy already and you didn't even realize it, but you've already forgiven him for something so big and so monumental in your life to the same extent that you've forgiven him. I forgive you to the same exact depths every single day. Yeah. I'm just I'm in awe right now like I if you could only see my arms like <laughs> I just have chills all over me like that was phenomenal that was such a great testimony mm. and you're going to touch so many young men mm. that are afraid to come out and to speak about that you're going to touch their lives mm. especially and as well as young women but especially the young men so many of them are broken so many of them are afraid to even admit anything like that mm -hmm. so for you to come out and say that right now that was extremely brave Thank you. um wow Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. Before we let you go, can you just give us a little sneak peek of what we can expect? Just a little, just a little bit. Just a little note, you know, a little bar or something. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll give you all a 24-bar verse. Is that okay? Let's do it. sneak peek. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. That's the only thing that comes to mind. Let's do it. Let's do okay. it. Um. I'm like a chip off the old block. My old pops instilled in me the kid in me. Listen to four tops. Sugar pie, honey bunch. <laughs> Let me stop to find out who I am. I got to find out who I'm not. I'm not some hot MC from the block. I'm just a spotlight for God to get props. That pasta for lunch that's inside of me. Sorry, that's just a New Yorker coming out of me. Our anatomy is adequate, adamantly extravagant. Can't fathom that the holy advocate is who imagined it. He spoke and it was fashion, no accident. Then he would redeem it with an action so passionate. I'm passionate with this discussion because if I only point you to me, then I've achieved nothing and nothing is worth gaining the world and losing my soul for some plastic pearls. Yeah, you give me the throne, you're giving it wrong. I'm prone to become a definitive clone. Another example of wanting to sit with the father should sit in the father alone. See me, you, and this whole squad, we were meant to know God, not just know about God. So become better, not bitter. Be trendsetters, not trend fitters, critters that wither. You got a lot to consider. So if you want to chat more about it, you can hit me up on Twitter. What? <laughs> oh my, listen, listen. Okay, you said to be the trendsetter, to be the setter, to be the what? <laughs> what, 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 what you just said? Uh, be a trend, don't be trendsetters, be, uh, be, trend, be trendsetters, not trend fitters, critters that wither. You got a lot to consider. So if you want to chat more about it, you can hit me up on Twitter. What? Oh, wow. Okay. Again, listen, listen. That's enough. You got to go get the album when it comes out. That was fire. Okay. 
I don't even know what to say. I, I'm stuttering and stuff. <laughs> um, again, this is your boy, TJ Pompeo, right here on Sweet Candor TV. Make sure you go to www.sweetcandoratv so you can check out the whole entire interview. This man is on fire. Check it out.